champs, let's get rid of Windows Home and let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. New codes, new discount. You can get Windows Professional Office. Paste my code. Boom. It's Windows Pro time. Yes, so indeed, you are looking at the RTX version of the Zephyrus. ROG GX 531 GW. And this is a serious piece of kit. Have a look how thin this is. This is an Ultrabook. Ultrabook. Same thickness. Actually, the Ultrabook is thicker. The Ultrabook is thicker than this Zephyrus. Can you believe that? This is a 15 inch gaming laptop. That's 15 mil. 16 mil when you have the opening at the back here. As you can see there, it opens up to vent out. It's only 16 mil like that. It is super thin, but you can get an RTX 2080 Max-Q in this. And I can tell you now, testing the RTX 2070 Max-Q in this, no thermal issues whatsoever. 3.9 constant clock all the time. Here's the uh, Fire Strike score. I will get into benchmarks in a minute. But yeah, look at the graphic score. That's what you'd expect for a 1070 Max-Q. Maximum performance. No throttling, a little bit of power limit throttling, that's like all of them have that sort of issue. And yeah, I will tell you now, with the keyboard here, it does take a bit to get used to it because, you know, it's not up here. This is a ventilation area there. Also here we have the um, number pad. Look at how cool is that? You've got a number pad as well. Got all the connectivity you mostly want. Doesn't have Thunderbolt 3, that's a USB Type-C and you can power it up here. 65 watt charger you can put in there if you want. Does have a 230 watt power supply, that's a USB 3 there. No Thunderbolt 3 as I said and no Ethernet so obviously I have to use an adapter there. Yeah, another couple of USB 3 there and the USB-C as well and the power there. 230 watt power supply, of course look at that RTX baby. One of the best displays you're going to see on a gaming laptop. 3 millisecond response, IPS. It is a friggin' cracking display. 144 hertz, super connected feeling. And I'll get to the benchmarks in a minute, but I would say if you want to get those frames, over 100 frames per second, you know, to get the most use out of this display, you're going to have to put it medium settings. It can do high over 100 frames per second, but the 1070 Max-Q, of course, it's not as powerful as the Max-P. But hey, look how thin it is. Two kilos as well. Wow, this is a friggin' beast of a gaming laptop. And I am so surprised there's no thermal issues. I mean, it only occasionally got into the 90 degrees every now and then. And it looks the part. It really does look like a concept gone into production. I said that before. It's like, you know, when you see those concept cars that go into production, that's what this looks like. It looks like a concept gone into production. Uh, yeah, I cannot give this any more praise. Yeah, the footprint is a little bit bigger, but yeah, it's squashed out, it's flattened out. And yeah, I really do think this is a cracking machine and I'm so surprised the performance getting out of this in such a thin package. The Ultrabook, this Ultrabook, 13 inch Ultrabook is fatter than this. RTX up to 2080 Max-Q and the RTX 2080 Max-Q is, I think it's 90 watts. And the actual SCAR I've just done a gaming review on and I'll have a full review of that coming out soon. You can actually get a RTX 2070 in that that uses 115 watts. So it's interesting that you can get a RTX 2080 that's only 90 watt but you can get the SCAR 2 with the RTX 2070 full version, not Max-Q, and it's 115 watts. So, yeah, let's go have a look at the, some gaming benchmarks, see how this... Oh, this thing is awesome. Oh, I cannot praise it enough. So thin, so light. Yeah, there's got to be some cons. We'll test the battery life out. We'll see how we go. And it sort of has a weird configuration. You have up to 24 gigs RAM. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. We'll have a look into that. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty. It has an Intel 8750H processor, six cores, 45 watt. Now, you cannot undervolt this. It is locked in the BIOS. This may change in the future. Now, I know there's going to be theories that, hey, 
they're under vault in this out of the box and that's why they've locked it and that's how they're getting these awesome temperatures and getting this awesome performance well to me that would be stupid because there's so many variants in different chips that it would lead to instability but for whatever reason it's locked this thing never really goes over 90 degrees i saw the cpu every now and then touch 90 even ultra settings overwatch and battlefield still that 3.9 was staying consistent and the temperatures were mainly in the 80s with the cpu and the gpu yeah in the 70s and occasionally might go into the 80s so i'm pretty confident that the RTX 2080 Max Q will do well in this chassis too. And it's still blowing my mind how thin this is. You know, it's only 15, a bit more than 15 mil. And it's got these parts in it. Of course, RTX 2070, you can get 2060, 2070, 2080 Max Q. Now this one has eight gigs of memory compared to six gigs on the RTX 2060. And of course the RTX 2080 has eight gigs as well. Now the funny configuration is maximum of 24 gigs. And you're thinking, well, why 24 gigs? It has eight gigs soldered into the board because it's so thin. So you've only got one slot to put RAM and in this, it's got another stick of eight gigs. So that's how it's able to run in dual channel, 16 gigs together. Now you can put 24, so you'll be able to put a 16 gig stick in there instead of the eight that this comes with. I'm pretty sure it will not be running it dual channel at that point. So I think stick with 16 gig. It may be possible you can fit a 32 gig stick in there and then have 40 gigs. But again, it won't be dual channel. And the sound's pretty nice on this too. Although of course, because it's loud, <laughs> you don't get the full value out of that sound. And you're probably going to have a headset on anyway. So anyway, let's get into the benchmarks. And all these are taken at medium settings or the equivalent because games like Apex, there's no like preset and then ultra or the equivalent of ultra high settings whatever but the ones i read out will be the medium in the brackets will be the high so dsx mankind divided the system crusher there we're getting 80 frames per second of course all that 1080p as well gta 5 i only tested this at very high settings and that was 75 frames per second now i will do live gameplay after i read out these benchmarks so i suggest you see how many frames i'm pushing with that and you can see the temperatures live so i suggest you watch that but in PUBG, i was getting 115 frames per second medium and even 99 at ultra so that's friggin amazing now in witcher this is a good difference between medium and ultra have a look at this witcher 3 medium settings 92 frames per second versus 64 frames per second at the ultra pc now that's a big haircut it's like a nearly 30 frames per second that so that just shows you if you want to get the maximum out of this display you're probably best sticking at medium unless you get a you know a 2080 max q but if you don't care about refresh and you just want the settings you're going to get your 60 frames per second no problems at the ultra ap 104 frames per second at medium 67 at high or ultra battlefield 5 i was on one of the maps that is really hard on the system and that's 65 frames per second and 55 frames per second at ultra overwatch i tested medium ultra and epic and 137 frames medium 120 frames high and 94 frames per second or virtually 95 at ultra so you can see this thing games like a champ i cannot believe the thin package that it's controlling the thermal envelope of these parts in here yes thin light max q you would expect that but nothing's as thin as this like 15 mil come on so i highly suggest you watch my live game gameplay now you'll see how hard this thing cranks i'd like to thank you guys for watching yes i've made a name change and yeah give me a thumbs up if you like my new name give me a thumbs up my old name didn't make sense anymore so until next time tally ho all right let's see how this games with pubg i am playing pubg medium settings 1080p uh they're just uh just the normal medium settings i haven't played with anything else it's just medium so you can see there the clock 3.9 gigahertz, which is pretty much as fast as you get for the CPU. 3.9 all the way. Hello, China. You can probably hear the fans. Can you hear the fans? I'll just be quiet. Uh, yep. But look at that GPU. We're getting 1560 on the GPU there. So 1560 megahertz. I haven't really... You see some power limit throttling there you can see how it comes up limb and then the power comes up that will turn off in a little bit 230 watt power supply i think i'm pretty sure it is um i haven't done this sort of gaming thing for a while um you can see the temperatures 80 degrees cpu 72 gpu let's go pick up something eh? 120 frames have they done have they done a patch for pubg 120 frames per second 
uh, medium settings here even 130 look Ooh, look at that that's at medium now i will test it in high in, in a sec but the thing is you've got a high refresh rate monitor so you want to get those frames up as high as you can as close as you can to 140 without sacrificing quality and i think medium is a good spot you know 1070 max q so this is a max q but look at that uh, cpu no throttling whatsoever so far other than the power limit throttling which you know every pretty much all of them do it to some degree um it's so thin and light yet we're getting 3.9 consistently and it's only like 79 degrees 80 degrees are you joking 71 degrees cpu 1600 the gpu's going now wow this is some serious cooling and yeah it is not quiet listen you can probably hear yeah it's not quiet at all but you know something so thin and light they got to move the air you know it has to be um a little bit loud and as you'll see here i am playing with an xbox controller on the, the you know i have people accusing me oh that's not xbox footage I mean, sorry, that's not PC footage, that's Xbox footage because you got Xbox symbols on the screen. Don't they know that you can um, use the Xbox controller on a PC? I, I, I don't understand. So anyway, this is medium settings. Let's go to high. We'll see what we do with high, eh? So we're getting well over 100 frames per second at medium settings. Let's go to high. Hidey ho apply and of course this can play ultra it's a 1070 max q it'll play ultra no problems but the problem is once you play ultra you're playing over 60 frames per second yes but look this is at high now we're still getting over 100 frames per second starting to dip below 100 every now and then and that's the difference right we'll consistently you know 120 at medium higher frame rates to get the most out of this butter smooth display and this display is cracking yeah i mean you have to really see this display probably i have to say it's one of my favorites like three millisecond response it, it's like a killer display um it is really good ips that's just a beautiful display great for configuration oh look at that 120 frames per second but yeah what happens is the average lows you know they get a little bit lower when you um, run at this sort of resolution but still high settings over 100 frames per second wow i think they've definitely updated pubg and made it more efficient because you know pubg used to be really hard to run now i'm actually finding that frames per second wise um it, you know it's pretty much fortnite runs at less frames per second at the same sort of settings and even um not fortnite what's the other one? Oh, apex too so all right let's change this to ultra oh gotta get out of the blue all right let's go to ultra quality settings ultra apply close it up there all right so now we're at ultra settings and you can see there there's the haircut you get we are under 100 frames per second now i'm in the car the frames will change when you're actually in the car compared to just out in the open there but ultra setting you got ultra grass and stuff like that and that takes really like a lot of compute power there to render all the grass the ultra shadows and stuff like that I don't think it's necessary for a you know a 15 inch display to have ultra but yes yeah, so you can see there 80 80 frames per sec oh 90 frames i'm sure i'll get more once i step out of the car um if i survive that long whoa how did i not see that yeah i'm far away from the the computer it's hard to see 15 inch see 15 inch is great because it's a nice size you know, 17 inches even better but yeah when you're close to it right 
when you're far away like I am now, I'm nearly I don't know, two meters at least away. It's yeah, it is smallish. Oh no! Don't kill me. Let me get out of my car at least. 